And those extreme temperatures that Alan told us about, they can put a strain on any power grid. The companies are hard at work trying to keep up with that demand, especially with the temperature staying in the 90s across northwest Florida. Well, Florida Power and Light says they plan to head for temperatures like these. WEAR's uh, Aubrey joins us in the studio tonight. And Aubrey, the company says it's taking advantage of the Sunshine State sunshine. Solar energy centers like the Blackwater River Solar Site is what Florida Power and Light says is a part of the solution to an increase in demand for power. Florida Power and Light says they set a new energy usage record this summer with a peak load of almost 30,000 megawatts per hour. One megawatt is enough energy to power an electric vehicle for more than 3,000 miles. Nearly 6 million customers are using air conditioning to stay comfortable in this heat. We've been very blessed and uh, with at FPL we have again done some planning for this and so even though we see higher demands uh, on our system, uh, our system has been able to maintain its stability and deliver power as needed for our customers. JT Young says that as the largest producer of solar energy in the nation, Florida Power and Light has 12 other solar energy centers just like this one in northwest Florida. Each center produces enough energy to power 15,000 homes, allowing them to meet the demand for power. That's one of the reasons we're, you're seeing such a great expansion of solar, because we know that it is the lowest cost, number one, form of generating um, energy electricity now. Um, it's clean and it allows us to be able to meet the demands um, that we need to meet for our customers benefit. And so they see great value from that. JT Young says while solar is keeping FPNL stable during this time of high demand, they don't rely on any one source of power. Within their system, they produce gas and nuclear energy along with solar energy. Florida Power and Light suggests keeping your thermostat set between 74 and 78 degrees to help you save on your next power bill. Aubrey Spears, WEAR News.